Good evening, Super Metroid fans. Yes, welcome back to Super Metroid 30 Years of Speed put on by Shiny Zenny. We've got a really special one for you. This is the Any% Percent Community Race. In the race time room right now, we have 47 entrants getting ready to duke it out in one of the most storied categories in this amazing speed game. My name is The Hockey Towner, and I'm joined by a commentator, a friend, a runner that needs no introduction, but will be getting one. And that person's name is Crunchy Lex, known the world over for massive contributions to both marathons as well as many types of 2D Metroid speedrunning. Crunchy, it's my absolute pleasure to have you in the booth with me tonight. Oh my god, Hockey, are you sure you're introducing me and not somebody else? Dang, man. I'm 100% <laughs> sure, Crunch, 100% sure. But no, Hockey, the pleasure is all mine. It is always an absolute joy to be able to talk over my favorite game, doing a category near and dear to my heart with you. Because goodness knows, Hockey, every time we do this, it is just an absolute wondrous time. And I couldn't I couldn't ask for a better reason to be doing this. A any percent community race on the 30th anniversary. And with 47 people, like you said, this... I'm honestly a little bit speechless because I mean, community is just honestly one of the things I love so much about this about speedrunning Super Metroid. I mean, my love for the game was what brought me here, but honestly, even if I drop out, disappear from speedrunning for a while, the community really is what keeps me coming back. I could have said it better myself, Crunchy. I completely agree with those sentiments. This has been my home as a viewer for the last eight years, it has been my home as a commentator. From the for the last five years and pretty much this month i remember cutting my teeth in the prodigies tournament with you in the booth as well oh Men yeah me mentoring me coaching me all sorts of things inspiring me i get in gotta do anything you're a natural my friend <laughs> <laughs> well i know we both put time and work into our craft but so did these four featured runners look at the names up here crunchy we've got zost we've got a real cutie eddie and Drewski, the, sl the slowest time among these four runners is somewhere in like the mid 42s. And Zos <laughs> has the second fastest time of anyone that has ever ran this category. This is this is incredibly stacked. And this is these are only the four you're seeing. The we have, like I said, we have another 43 people. We got some, we got some, every, we get, that's the best part. We have everything from folks who are relatively new to running to other real titans of super metroid it's fantastic i love to see it the last time i saw it turn out like this was five years ago uh insane firebat ifb pointing out that there were somewhere in the 40s i believe it was 41 perhaps runners for the 25th anniversary and uh that did not have a spellbinding event in front of it so i love to love that we're eclipsing that number and a huge shout out to zenny for putting on this event it's been absolutely wild and so entertaining to watch throughout the day oh yeah absolutely the biggest shout outs to zenny this just just putting this whole thing together just bringing together so, so many of the big names just having just a real fun time for everybody it's wonderful all right, I do have on good authority from the producer himself that it, the 25th anniversary race did have backing by a little-known organization maybe some of you have heard of called Games Done Quick. I think I've heard that name somewhere before, but I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It doesn't. It's, it's ringing a bell, but it's very faint. I don't know. Very hard to say. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Crunchy, I think it's finally time. I think all of Is the runners... Have readied up, and uh, ooh, ooh, you're right. And I think MM2 is going to have the honor of dropping the gate as well as participating in this race. Excellent, excellent. I could be wrong, though. We are just waiting on one more runner to get ready. So that means it gives Crunchy and I more time to pontificate about how amazing this game is. 
God, Hockey, what was your first experience playing Super Metroid? You know, I talked about it a bit. Um, I, I, This game was conspicuously absent from the game catalogs of all of my friends that had the Super Nintendo growing up, so I did not play this game as a child when it was new. How However, are you friends with them? I, <laughs> excellent question, but I played everything else from DKC all the way to Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, Mega Man X, Super Mario World, Link to the Past, you name it. But for some reason, they just were not into Metroid games. I, I'm not friends with them anymore, I promise. But <laughs> played it on played it on keyboard. Thought it was pretty good. But then oh got God. into it as an adult, and now the race is going. So I could finally shut oh. up about nostalgia. And we could experience the nostalgia of our own crunchy starting on Series Station here. Yeah, Series Station. The best demonstration as to why lab safety is critical. <laughs> Yeah, we're about to see why OSHA, why things have to be OSHA approved here. There's dead bodies everywhere. Yep. Thank thankfully, all our runners know Samus knows protection. That's why she's wearing all the proper PPE for surviving in Series Station and making to get through it as fast as possible using such wonderful tricks as arm pumping and stopping right in front of the door because face planting into a door does make you slower getting through it. I know this from experience. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask Grunchy how he knows this. So yeah, a little canned Ridley fight here on Sirius before our runners can leave. They're going to damage themselves down to the to 24. Perfect execution from all four runners here. And as Crunchy said, going to have to avoid bonking into the doors. Going to try to avoid getting sucked to the magnet stairs and perhaps we'll even see a tile room D boost or two. Ooh, I would love to see that. I think it's one of the things that's so great about Sirius is that it's... It's a common reset point because you have to do so many little things. You just have to, your movement has to be on point. You have to know how to deal with different different variations of the rooms. Damage boosts, ledge grabs, you see a little bit of everything. Oh, yes. And look at these times from Zost and Cutie. Wow. Ooh, 46 is a 45 and a 43. Ooh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. The cutie was lamenting in the uh, race time room that he's feeling a little bit rusty, but it's certainly not showing in series. Really, you know, leaning heavy on that muscle memory from thousands and thousands and thousands of attempts. Well, you know what they say, one runner's rust is another runner's chrome. I think that's how they say it. <laughs> I love that. That's so true, too. Oh, my well, hockey, gosh. I think you'll be pleased to know that this time I have prepared a stack of meticulously handwritten notes i am so ready for this oh my goodness crunchy it does not surprise me in the slightest nobody takes com prep more serious than you do but i'm not going to say that this category is old hat because there's nothing old about about this category i'm just excited for what we're going to see here today but before we can get into that all of our runners do have to do the same thing they got to get down to retro grin to pick up that first item Yep, and we're starting to see one of the first most important things, which is just being able to get through rooms quickly, which seems kind of obvious, it's speedrunning, but in Super Metroid, even the tiniest movements are very precise. The jumping, Samus's jumping this game is pretty floaty, and holding down the jump button for even a fraction of a second longer just dramatically changes her trajectory, so... Every precise jump, particularly all the all those go, going through old terrain and not falling in the pits, that is actually really hard. I still fall in the pit just about every time I, every run I do. No, no question, Crunchy. No question. We did see there in the uh, the reverse climb, as I like to call it. We did see that moonfall strategy yes. to uncap Samus's fall speed. We're going to be seeing a lot of moon falling from all four of these runners in the showcase here on Thirty Years of Speed. It, it saves about, I would say, between four and six seconds on just that uh the cl the reverse climb there but to utilize it to great effect throughout the run really separates the veteran runners from the neophytes yeah and, and it's funny because moonfall is one of those tricks that's i guess in the general scheme of things one of the more recent discoveries even though at this point it's years old just going to show that in a game like this a game is mature a run is mature as super metroid there's always new things being found even if just a different way of doing a trick or just oh i mean we can actually uncap fall speed it's a big surprise <laughs> and, and i love the fact that moonfall is kind of like the kind of like the bob ross of super metroid tricks because you just kind of just just tuck it in right there <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's so accurate. Now, you really want to talk about setting apart the oh. veterans. Is this climb, look at these wall jumps, keeping those jumps extra tight, keeping them close, 
Nobody opting to use uh, ledge grabs there. It's all bulk, uh, wall jumps, I should say. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of the, uh, I believe it, the colloquialism is behemoth climb, um, popularized by behemoth and, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot his name. And, um, uh, oh, I feel bad because I actually know my real life. Was that screen name? Just Defend, yeah, thank you, thank yeah, you, thank just you. Just Defend, absolutely. I, I love that guy. I haven't seen him in a while. I hope he's oh, doing yeah. well. JD is JD is a amazing member of the Super Metroid community. But you know who well isn't? That's, that's an excellent question. It's why this bomb tree is right here. <laughs> it doesn't take criticism very well either. You hit him a few too many times, he knocks his head off. But thankfully, know. we know the trick. Mo Look at five. That. Oh, Zos giving us a beautiful PT. Can we get quadruple headless? Oh, quadruple oh my God. full head full. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my goodness. That is four for four right there. <laughs> and Eddie giving us the ad break meta. That's right. oh God, my what a God. guy. What a guy, Eddie. We'll be right back. Um, After these messages, we'll be right back. Fantastic. I mean, we are practically into Sunday morning. It might as well be Saturday morning. We're running the cartoon cartoon free roll there but terminator here alcatraz was no problem for these runners heading to green grinstar for the first major sequence break the the gatekeeper literally for this run <laughs> dang you're right i never thought about it that way but you are absolutely right we are super missiles are an incredibly useful tool throughout this run and the game wants you to go fight a, a boss that i've been told exists although i haven't seen it in ages and um as it turns out you can just kind of get them early if you manage to get under a gate before it shuts and you saw this earlier right after missiles it's possible to jump and morph right as you land to maintain run speed mock balling as it's called we're gonna see zos do it right here up down and wow. Perfect. What, a, what a fantastic short hop too the, the shorter you keep that hop the faster you'll go through the room and look at arc also with a very nice mock ball drewski already threw who knows what eddie's doing right now though <laughs> I, I see a chat from uh from d web that somebody just gifted seti an eddie sub <laughs> so he won't have any more ads that is fantastic oh my All god this community so much hockey. I, don't, I can't even describe it in words, man. It's so good. All of our runners are into now Pink Big Grinstar. Pink. Heading into the, yep, the room known as Big Pink. And to pick up another missile pack and the charge beam. What can you tell us about the charge beam, uh, Crunchy? All right. Well, charge beam is one of those items that you never really appreciate when you play this game casually. But as it turns out, it is extremely useful because not only does it give you more power out of your normal shots, but it has a little has a secondary ability where if you somersault while holding it, you do a pseudo screw attack. Because we're not going to be we're not going to be seeing the screw attack, but we don't need it because we can pseudo do it. Absolutely, better to pseudo than to not do it at all. And additionally, I don't know if our runners will be utilizing the special beam attack function, but once they pick up those power bombs and they limit their beam selection to just one other beam on top of charge, they'll be able to use the charge combos. The one most useful in any percent categories is the uh, the X Factor. We might see that yes. against the Botuli fight. But uh, smooth through Green Hill Zone here, wow. heading out into Red Brinstar. Zos heading upstairs. Ooh. You know he's going to be doing Fantune first. Doing Curious that bold route. Eddie as well. Drewski as well. Do we have a four for four with Do Beauty? <laughs> yes. I'm so surprised if he didn't. But that's right. I mean, you can't really call it. We, we talked about this crunch. You can't really call it new route anymore. Oh, I God, mean, it no. really debuted in like, you know, the mid 2010. So I like what you said. It's old route and bold route. Yeah. Because and Bold Route is correct because the challenge genuinely ramps up dramatically. Because Old Route is not that much slower. I mean, honestly, you can get a really fast time with Old Route, but when you really want to get into the upper echelons of Super Metroid speedrunning, you gotta take the newer route. And at that point, just your boldness rises dramatically. You develop an aura <laughs> behind you, and people on the street just look at you different. <laughs> <laughs> that they do. I think Zost is one of the few runners that has pushed KPDR, the, uh, the so-called old route, as far down as like a 42. Uh, it's absurd! Chat, chat will have to correct me if I'm wrong, but then again, <laughs> PRKD has been pushed to an astonishing 40-36. 
with oats and goats Goggles last right. year. Look at that. Look at it, Chad. Zos, Behemoth, and Zenny all have 42s in KPDR. Oh, Eddie, unfortunately, taking a tumble into the moat. Not getting that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Drewski making it across. Drewski with a really nice CWJ. Eddie, though, going to have to go with horizontal bomb jump. Zost already into Fantoon, into the wrecked ship. Oh, awesome. oh, cutie making it across with horizontal bomb jumps as well. Eddie's through. Oh, my goodness. You'd love to see this kind of moat crossing here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because, uh,. Mode is one of those things where all, it, it tends to snowball, which is funny because it's not really that cold there, but it just, <laughs> it goes wrong once and it just keeps going wrong and suddenly you're like, gosh, well now I guess I'd have to restart. No kidding, but this is race mode. There's no resetting here. Oh, oh, oh no, Not no, going no. for PBs, they're going for the glory of this 30 years of speed, 30th anniversary community race. So now Fantoon, the second, <laughs> the second canonically of the G4 bosses, but the first fought in this route really tough boss guy can yes. open with a slow mid or fast pattern look at that Ooh, fast fast for zost you can try to doppler these missiles if you know about the doppler effect that'll make perfect sense if you don't check the wikipedia page don't worry about it. All, all you need to know is that it makes that sounds are different and instead of ch being able to detect the weather it just kills ghosts that's all you need to know <laughs> fantastic so really nice opening rounds there from Zost, but I think this is going to be a three round. Drewski with the air Doppler. Oh my goodness. Wow, same from Cutie. Dang, these are these are not easy tricks. Doppler is one of those things where once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad, but <gasps> I... No! No! <laughs> Fan oh, no! Blames another victim. You gotta be kidding me. I don't believe it. We got three out of four of those. Zoe's going to dust himself off and try again. Oh, my god! Absolutely. Gosh. The gumption. Not giving up. Still putting on a show. Love to see it. And that's one of the things I just love. Sometimes sometimes you, you see races and people just, well, I died. That's over. Nah. Nah. These people know what's up. These runners, these runners got the right stuff, as they say. <laughs> they definitely do. They've got the tenacity. They've got the dedication. So this one is far from over. All say, number, goodness knows any number of things can continue to happen. They said it before, Crunchy. I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face. The run ain't over till Samus is on the ship. Absolutely. Until there's until everybody dot duns, it isn't over. But well, we got we got three major players here now. Zos was out to a not a, a huge lead, but a comfortable lead. They're going into wreck ship, and now it's anybody's game here. Eddie Drewski and, and Cutie just duking it out here. Drewski the first to reach the attic. This is such a hard room to do optimally, especially in this stripped down category of PRKD. And he oh yeah, everything hurts so, so much in this area too. And they're all running through here with a mere 199 energy. You get bonked by too many key hunters and you're done for. Absolutely, you gotta have enough energy too to also cross bowling to go across all those spikes. And farming. Oh God, there's, yes. There's not a great farming position out here, side here either. There's some, some shoots and some waivers here, but that's not it's, a great, a great farm solution. It, it it isn't. But all right, Cutie playing a little bit safer, just kind of going through there without doing the D boost. Everyone else. Oh, okay, for some moment there, I saw Drewski's screen freeze. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wait, no, it's just potato internet. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> It's just potato. You put the Ethernet cord in the potato, you just hope for the best. But yeah. uh, Well, the good all... news is that we're not dealing with potatoes here. We're dealing with bowling balls because it's <laughs> time for true. some bowling. They are definitely going bowling. I love bowling cutscene because it just if a runner is having a good pace or a bad pace, it just gives them a chance to just reset before grabbing that suit and heading down for arguably the most challenging part of this run, which is the, the, the single dip into Norfair. Thankfully, though, all that stuff has led to a nice hearty breakfast to start the rest of your game. Oh, no. A what? <laughs> a nice a hearty breakfast. A breakfast? Yes! <laughs> Stack of pancakes, breakfast to champions. <laughs> and they'll never go bad because they're hermetically sealed. You yep, love and to just see like it. real pancakes, they allow you to move through water as if it weren't <laughs> even there. I know I have I know I have e easier moving through water after I have pancakes crunchy. Yeah, you know they always tell you you shouldn't go swimming after you eat after you eat because you'll get a cramp. Nah, no, the real reason is they don't want you to know about gravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my.
my goodness gracious. So Zoe's finishing off BT for the second time, avoiding the decapitation animation. So foregone conclusion that he's going to get Alcatraz, but all three runners heading down the Redbrin elevator now on their way to Norfair. So they're going to be stopping off before they just beeline it to uh, to lower Norfair. They are going to grab some key items in upper Norfair. What are some of those items, Crunch? Some key items in upper Norfair. Oh, well, we have all kinds of fun stuff. We have us an ice beam. We have us a speed booster. And... Goodness gracious, hockey! I think I don't want to. I don't want to info dump on everybody. We can talk about them as we get there, because <laughs> it's all about enjoying the journey. And That's I've, true. In fact, I've been watching this. We've been seeing all kinds of fun di differences. Like we saw Eddie do a coming off the elevator, Red Brinstar do a moonfall. We saw Drewski do a fun, a uh, little unmorph to keep momentum and not touch the ground. It's one of the things. Hockey, I'm going to lift this directly from you. One of the things I love so uh -oh. much about Super Metroid is the speed run, is the fact that there are so many ways to go through it. It's Everyone can just kind of find something that works for them, something they like, and it le leads to a level of expression that I'm hard... a very expressive speed run. I'm hard-pressed to think of a game where e each individual runner's run can be uniquely theirs, quite like SM. I love it. I love that you said that, Crunchy, because this morning during the Hundo race, I said that it's like every runner of this game has a unique fingerprint, and that's exactly their their expression of this game, the strats that they choose to use for room to room to room. Fantastic stuff. But we did see them grab the Spazer Beam, which is, you know, you say to your mom, Mom, I want Plasma Beam, and he, <laughs> he says, I, we have Plasma Beam at home, and it's Spazer. <laughs> It doesn't go through the walls. Well, that's because we gave you the good walls, Timmy. Now you yeah. sit down and eat your powdered milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's this, incredible. We, uh, this who, movement, though, I love this. Oh, it's so good. It's so good from all these runners. They're so close together, so tight. Uh, in their execution right now all grabbing high jump more or less at the same time what an incredible item too like just a key item for to making it through this category quickly is those high jump boots yeah because it's high jump is one of those things you don't think about it too much you think oh it just lets you jump higher but we can wall jump why does it matter it doesn't just let you jump higher it also increases the speed of your vertical of your ver your vertical speed so it still ends up saving time over the course of the run because you're just going up faster when you're climbing stuff it's so fantastic. yeah, you, you get that high jump and you love that high jump. Really nice pair of uh, short hop mock balls there from Cutie and Eddie, but Drewski building on a lead here, de-boosting off of the Sova into ice, just really, really just artistic movement right now. Oh yeah, and that's, I, th I think you mentioned this earlier, just um, little things like that are really what differentiate like gr a good runner from a great runner. I mean, to be fair, these are all great runners, but Drewski is just really pulling out stops that I didn't even know were there. It's like he's sitting at the organ console, he pulled out all the stops, and then he's pulling out the secret stops. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this sync too from Cutie and Eddie. My, oh my they got gosh. The dope transitions. <laughs> the quote, to qu <laughs> they both fell onto the platform too, so they're still tied up heading into almost a pre Calcerai. It's a pre-cathedral here, but Eddie pulling ahead. Uh, our good friend Stravaris said in the clip collection, I can't believe this sink somebody washed the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And now into, into rising tide. This is another room. That, oh, 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 cutie showing us a wonderful rising tide. That's a, that is a room that is so hard to do clean. Uh, look, did, did you see that bubble mountain from Drewski? That was absolutely deranged. He's already into the bad cave. He snuck through the waiver and uh, summited bubble mountain and dethroned King Cag like, like nothing. Oh my, hockey! I don't have enough eyes for this. What do, we, what do you even do? Oh my gosh, he is just really moving. But this is turning into a gunfight between uh, between Cutie and Eddie an absolute dogfight as they pick up the speed booster so speed booster high jump those are really the one two combination punch oh, uh, God, necessary yes. to really start moving in this category uh, look at the schmoovin look at the schmoovin indeed and not only are they able to increase their speed and get those speed echoes but what is this the shine spark technology that samus is able to take advantage of Ooh. Oh, Better God, than... you're, you're going into the secret tech now <laughs> Quite literally, secret tech. The game doesn't tell you about it until you beat the game, and it lets it shows you the extra cutscenes 
at the title screen, That's shine sparking. Right. If you, if, you ha if you are in blue suit running mode and you crouch, Samus will start making a sound like, I don't even know what that sound is, kind of like, you know you know when you try to start your car and it doesn't start, but it sounds like it's about to explode? <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like. But that just means Samus is ready to go like a rocket, and boy howdy, she goes like a rocket, quite she literally. Does. The downside so is, of course, it drains your energy when you do it, so they have to use it sparingly, particularly in this category and in this, uh, in this boss order, but when used correctly... It allows us to do all kinds of wonderful movement and cool skips, and this is such a good run. It really is. So Zost on the Revenge Tour, they're finishing off Fantoon oh. the air drop. We've got wave beam pickups from all three runners. Drewski, though, had horrible resources leaving speed and went for farming. That was an eight farm before he got sufficient resources, Crunchy. So that oh, puts no. Beauty firmly in the lead here with Eddie hot on his heels but Drewski's got some time to make up unfortunately due to drop luck we're about to see kind of the the key trick or the key movement tech for this oh, yes. route the lava dive yes um, you, you were talking about how the big gatekeeper was um was a uh, was the early early supers but i feel like in this category it's actually this trick this one is has to be there's multiple <laughs> multiple setups for Ooh. look at this look at this <laughs> Sick, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. We're all fine here now. Oh, and wow, Drewski. Drewski as well. Drewski as well. Just everyone just going to lower Norper. It's no big deal. Do we have the tools we need? We don't need the tools. We have skills. That's right. Why bother with all the strapping up with all the movement items and fighting the bosses in the intended order by the developers when you can do things like lava dive and Drewski by the skin of Samus's teeth there. Which I didn't know teeth could have skin. And look at fast pillars from Eddie. Cutie also. Hockey, they're called gums. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out that uh, the pillar room here is one of the most, is an extremely useful use of shine sparking there. And also, another fun little trick since in Super Metroid, like some later Metroids that some of our viewers might be used to, where you just run until Samus goes fast. In Super Metroid, there is a run button. And by tapping it at certain timing, because the game only checks that Samus is running on certain frames of the cycle, you can actually sh get that shine spark, get that speed a lot quicker. Short, um, got hockey, pick it up. I dropped yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can short charge, you can, you can tap, you can stutter, you can stutter tap. There's all sorts of ways to do it. But uh, that room after the Fast Pillars room used to be called worst room in the game. But look at these three runners, Crunchy. They're already into Red Key Hunter's shaft past the cows, or I should say the amphitheater. It's just another room in the game for these runners. Like, it's so it optimized. Is. It is. It's like even the worst room in the game is just it's just a Tuesday. It's literally. And just, just came Rest going through a spike Raul platform. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So your, now fun fact, your, your fun fact for the day is that my that uh, my father has been mistaken for Raul Julia on multiple occasions. <laughs> he actually does kind of look like him. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> that is amazing. So now Metal Pirates, look at the Shine Spark strats. They're using wow. speed echoes from those uh, Shine Sparks to defeat them. But Eddie now, Eddie will be the first into Ridley. This fight is extremely hard in any percent PRKD. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, yeah. <laughs> Ridley is no joke. Ridley will eat your lunch and shove you into a locker without a second thought. <laughs> Definitely capable of bullying Samus like no other boss. You saw Eddie there taking to the skies and shooting down. That lets him get an extra charge shot before Ridley starts his attack pattern. So wow. Was, and I love that. I love the X factoring from Cutie. That is, oh I gosh. like that a lot. That is a vintage strat right there. You love to see it. I think Zos does it at least, you know, three or four times. So we will be seeing that later on, depending on resources. But I and love it. And from Drewski as well. Drewski. I love the setup. Now look at Eddie now with that manipulation, that little corner trap to get Ridley into a pogo pattern. God, this is really good fights from all three of them. Yeah, no, and and, and in this particular boss order, Ridley is extra hard because we were talking about this earlier. Ridley is a hard fight in any boss order, but because if you have plasma, like the actual plasma, it's 20 charged shots to finish this guy off and he'll still murder you dead. But if you have the uh, the spacer beam combo, it's sixty. Yeah, sixty shots plus uh, you know a couple supers to help them. But Eddie's already through Ridley. Wow! Fight. 
I think he did. He either miscounted or Ridley was just being a jerk. He did get grabbed by Ridley, but didn't take too much damage. God, that's the annoying thing about Ridley is that even when Ridley is dead, oh. if he just wants to keep diving at you, he'll keep diving at you. And Cutie finishing the fight, gaining lost time. Drewski having a bit of a struggle here, doing great on. There we go. There we go. But oh my gosh, I mean, Eddie could have taken could have taken Ridley Tank as a race safety, but says, "Damn the torpedoes!" And he's going for it. He's got 154 energy. Cutie's got 207. And Does shoot, Drewski's torpedoes? got almost full health. So this is gonna be this escape is this is this is the real another pucker factor maximum moment here. Oh, oh God, Eddie yes. went for that speedball. Leaving. I love that speedball. I love that speedball too. We'll see if Drewski and Cutie can pull it off. Zoe's grabbing high jump though. Oh my goodness, this escape is so difficult on limited health. <laughs> it these, really these is. Red Key Hunters hit like a freight train. Yeah, they absolutely do. I mean, these. The Red Key Hunters are one of the most just dreaded, at least for me, one of the most dreaded enemies because all it takes is just having a bit of an oopsie goofer once or twice and suddenly you're on a. Suddenly you're staring at the. Staring at the baby again, and you're like, oh, well. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Continue our game over. Your choice. Take it all the way back to the ship. But my goodness, Eddie is just cooking right now. He, is that a 67 or a 57 for his health? He doesn't have much. He's really got to be careful around these key hunters. Oh, Eddie. 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 Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Eddie. He almost had it. The three musketeers ain't messing around. Oh my goodness. Oh, Eddie. I bet that was Athos. He's always been the joyless one. <laughs> what a reference. Cutie, though, is through unscathed. So is Drewski. Zost mounting a comeback, a furious comeback for third place here. But Eddie also refusing to to stay down he gets back up and gets back in the saddle god i love just, this, that makes me that just makes me so very happy just still go going back jumping right back in just kind of brushing yourself off saying welp and going right back in i'm going back in azos is already into bubble mountain so not really that far behind me an, ent an entire lore and orfair behind cutie but he did die at fan too and so all things considered Love that D boost off the waiver over the CAC attack there too. Little frog speedway exit there for Drewski and Cutie never have to return to Norfair again. Oh, that little oh stumble God. sinks Drewski back up with Cutie leaving Norfair. They're oh so goodness. close to each other. Oh my goodness. And this 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 late in the run, they're still this close to each other. It's I know. I mean, we're over halfway through. I mean, judging by their PBs, we're well over halfway through. And now this parade fight, it's usually the first boss of the game. They still have super limited resources, but the parade quick kill is almost a foregone conclusion for this caliber of runner. Aki, are you sure we're not just running the same feed twice? Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the Look cutie... at this! This is ridiculous! <laughs> this is unbelievable! <laughs> Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, it's time time for Kraid. Uh With any luck, we won't see Kraid his full height because um, I know he likes to feel big, but we don't want him to. That's right. We're gonna keep him down. Keep him. Make him feel small. And they both just go just land in the spikes in the same way. What in the world? I know the, the lag reduction, taking those spike hits, and then a two, two and three, two missile, three super. Cutie with like a 10 millisecond lead here. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Sassy <laughs> saying, My husband is losing his damn mind downstairs. That's okay, Sassy, because Crunchy and I lost both of our minds a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Cutie, cutie getting that D boost. J I, I love that. Oh, had just the littlest bit. I love that exit from Cutie. That's so phenomenal. Eddie, though, into Bomb Trees. Hopefully he'll avoid the decapitation animation. I'm trying to see how many times I can say that in one any percent raise. Um, we're up to three uh, now. <laughs> but Zost about to go for Lava Dive here. Cutie, though, exiting Crate's Warehouse for the last time and heading straight to Meridia. Meridia, super technical section of the game. I'm getting double mouthball as well, which is a trick that's harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, no question about it. 
Look at this setup from Zoe's perfect execution. Oh, <laughs> beautiful lava dive. Fantastic. But... Oh, Eddie showing us decapitated bomb Terizo. Not a lot of time lost there, but there is just a little bit. He managed to manage to save it. A little Everest spark there as our runners head into Aqueduct. So they got to do battle with Botwoon, as I like to call him. I get made fun of a lot for the way I say the Meridian bosses, but you know what? If if Super Metroid speedrunners can have a fingerprint on the way they do strats, then by golly, I can say what I I can call the bosses what I want to call them. <laughs> That's right, Hockey. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> I'm this close to taking my ball and going home. <laughs> Which is appropriate, because that's what Batuta is made of. <laughs> X-Factor strats from Cutie. All four particles hit. Super, 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 super. Oh, you got a great pattern, too. Oh, God, I felt that in my bones. That was good. Look at this D-Factor from Drewski landing all four. <laughs> Same oh my pattern? God. Same pattern? <laughs> and let's... Even... Oh, the Cutie, oh, no! <laughs> He was gonna go for the Yahtzee, but he didn't get it! Oh and Bruce my goodness. Get the Yahtzee! Yahtzee! <laughs> oh, oh my wow! Oh my goodness gracious. So Cutie with a little farm here though, but Drewski's gonna be setting up. He's going straight for it! He's diving into farm! Oh my, he's, he's going in, not, not even... Can we get it? Hockey, ever gonna see it? <gasps> it's We're looking good. It. it looks real good. It looks good. Yes! <laughs> So oh, happy. happy. And how about but, Cutie? Anything you can do, Drewski, I can do just as well. Oh my you know, god. That, I don't think that fits the meter of the song very well. I know. I admit it. <laughs> the meter. Uh, songwriting isn't our strongest suit, Hockey. It's okay. We can't, we can't be good at everything. We can't be good at everything, Crunch. We just can't. So, Dragon, deceptively tricky fight. Hard oh God, opener, yes. they gotta hit him with the X-Factor and then hit him with the Shine Spark. The only boss that takes damage from Shine Sparks. Uh, very, very, very fast to do optimally. So <laughs> Zos with, like, with nine energy using Shine Spark Echoes with a vertical spark that took Samus like a foot off the ground and defeated that Metal Pirate with Speed Echoes. Like, Drewski's already done? Get both done! Go again, the blue suit? We're we gonna get a spike suit. Are we gonna get a spike suit? That looks good for Cutie. He got the good frame. Can Drewski Cutie get in spike suit? Can Drewski convert? No, Drewski's gonna keep the blue. This is, He's this going is, this for is it huge. again! He's going for it again, Crunchy! Oh my gosh, this is... I think Drewski probably knows that... He knows that he if he's gonna go... Oh god, but the health though, the, the energy... I know. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Zoe's locked in Mortal Kombat right now with Ridley. This is such a tough fight on two tanks and gravity suit. But Cutie with the reverse full halfy. My goodness. And Drewski having to show us a gravity jump there to get out. Just yeah. doesn't have the energy. But he still has the blue suit, even though he was not able to convert it to a spike suit. Charge, yeah, drops it there right through the door. Take one big wall jump and boom. No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Commentator no. curse. Oh no. Oh no. I'm hockey. I'm pretty sure this means you owe Drewski lunch. I, I more than that. Probably like my firstborn or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh <laughs> maybe not that far. Oh god, the mock toys are just being merciless right now they for really Drewski. Are. And Zoe's just sending Ridley packing. Goodbye. Goodbye, Space Pelican. Be dying be dining on those wings pretty soon, right, Crunchy? <laughs> A little bit of garlic parm. Mmm. Mm, chef's kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, Cutie's already reached the surface of the planet Zebus. What's Eddie up to? About to go to Fantoon. My goodness. Looks like it. Run. Cutie Ooh. pulling away. Drewski was phenomenal. But just Cutie was just, he, he knows how to find that level. He knows how to find that extra click. Yeah, yeah, just Drew gear. To Drewski just finishing Dragon first, but then Cutie getting Spike Suit and then just going. Just I mean, 11 out of 10 speed. Oh, oh, hockey. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Uh, the, the speed ball. Yeah, <laughs> through the wall. Incredible yes. from Cutie. He's playing like a man possessed right now. I think that was all talk. Plus the speed key through Terminator. I think that was all talk in the race time room just to throw the competition off kilter when he said he was rusty. 
Because he certainly doesn't look rusty to me, Crunchy. Oh, good. oh goodness, Eddie taking a tumble, looking trying to do the, uh, taking a tumble in the moat, but still going back under the pillar and getting that wall jump on the second try. Fantastic. But Eddie now, Eddie gonna have to do battle with the ghost for the second time. Cutie yep. getting to chill out at G4 and look at this from Jeruski. Oh, oh yes. There's so many ways to go through a wall in this game. <laughs> we are re <laughs> Crunchy, we are remiss. Chad pointing out that Zost almost died again. He's got five energy leaving door lower door fair. How does he do it? How Just does he do nerves it? Nerves of steel. Uh, you think he's run this game once or twice? I do. <laughs> well, I thought, I thought today was his first day. Oh my just, god. Just, just natural. Just an absolute knack. I think this for Zos, this has been over over 10 oh, years. Oh no, but, Eddie. What the heck? I thought you had, I thought he had some. <laughs> Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> Who gave it some messages. and it didn't work? Oh my god. Yeah, back. Look, though, Cutie into Tori and having four Metroid rooms, grouping strats here. Resources I always get so okay. nervous. He's, oh, I get, oh, he missed that one back. Super drops were terrible in Metroid Room 1. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not good. Turian is, tur it sucks that Turian is oh. the last section because it's so easy just for things to go south real quick in Turian. No, for sure. He might have to reload Metroid Room 4 because he got no drops in Metroid Room 2 as well. And only two drops in Metroid Room 3. This is really, really close. And Drewski's oh. really barreling down on Cutie right now, Crunchy. Oh, God, yes. Oh, oh, the, the drops! Hold me back, Crunchy. <laughs> I'm trying hockey, I'm trying, but all I'm, all I'm doing is holding my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible, incredible Metroid Room 4 drops. Oh, my goodness gracious. 20 the game and 10 itself the, wants, the game itself wants us to put on a good show for him. Really and so it's giving us, giving us the Kraid quick kill. Kraid, no dancing for you today, my friend. Nope. Just a wallflower like the rest of us. Now, look at this. The clock. The cl Clockwise. <laughs> the, sounded clockwise. Out. Yeah, the stachio skip, as it's called. And that was discovered, I think, last year or the year before. It started as a meme, started by our very own stachio cat, but it the sweatiest of the sweaty in this game found out that it was actually faster. <laughs> yeah, and for the moment there, I actually thought Cutie got grabbed by the baby right before going through the transition. Thankfully not. If you get grabbed, that's a bad time. You have that's to you, time you have to sure. take the refill. You got to take the refill, and if you get grabbed as you're going through the door transition, you will be stuck in slow mode. Look at Drewski. What an incredible stash you skip. Yep, and we also got we also got a first try super smooth Zeb skip from Cutie. No trouble whatsoever. That's one of those ones you have to figure out by feel, but Cutie just making it look easy. Drewski, oh Drewski giving us another just just another, nice another mood skip. fall. Just, just 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 tuck it right in there. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> look at this little down back from Drewski. Oh my first god, try. I've never seen that setup from Drewski. That was amazing. Oh, it's so good but now cutie with a 60 shot mother brain two fight here and mother Ooh, yeah. brain can be very aggressive yep because i mean mother brain just trying to mother brain is just trying to start a new life here set up an order set up as a short order cook just serving you the dishes and you're just <laughs> and you're just giving you're not even giving her the good stuff she ordered plasma you're delivering spazer it's just That's right the disrespect on display, and we're getting 47 disrespects here today. Oh Hockey. my goodness, <laughs> the disrespect. And I I cannot believe my eyes here, um, Crushy, because Eddie is in Meridia, and so is Zos. Eddie what? is in, using, is Eddie in the practice realm? Uh, you know what, he is. Amazing, he, he magically caught up to Zos. My God, <laughs> just the skill on display. Oh my gosh, Cutie already going into the ketchup phase. That is one downside to them playing at this level is that if you get hit by a single ketchup, it's over. It's over. Won't survive yeah, the rainbow only, beam. With only three takes. Oh, Drewski, be careful. I don't know if he took any damage off that bomb. It looked like he was in the center of it, but oh my gosh. Oh, Eddie, oh, wow. X-Factor, X-Factoring on a, 
on a pattern like oh gosh, getting the X Factor at the start of Batu of Batuun is not as not that hard, but hitting Batuun with X Factor any other time, ooh, that's now that's hard. No, no kidding. No question about it. Drewski into the catch-up pattern here, but Cutie is into the baby cutscene as Zos is about to face the Queen of the Shrimps, Dragon. Should be a quick fight for Zos, but my goodness. This has been absolutely spellbinding. It, it's, it's, been, it's had its ups and its downs, but at the end of the day, I am having a wonderful time. I know. Like, this has just been so special when the community comes out in absolute force like this. 47 entrants is just absolutely crazy. Ooh. Oh gosh, so be careful. The double, the double X Factor against Dragon, but unfortunately missed a particle. Can he finish no. her off with a Shine Spark? Just gonna go for the missiles, just ammo, finishing ammo, the fight. Yeah. Now has you know, Wait, and oh. just like this? Converted the spikes. I was gonna say, he, if, since he didn't finish with the Shine Spark, he could not get a blue suit back up. But converts the spike suit no less. That, wow. that was an instant conversion. Made it look like it was something that you can just do in the game. My God, there's a reason Zos is, there's a reason Zos has been at the top of this game for so long. And just, say. my God, he makes that look easy. <laughs> he really does. Eddie, Eddie, with the blue suit as well, my God. Eddie getting the Shine Spark kill on Dragon saying, you know what, I'm not even gonna mess around with that spike suit nonsense. He drops the, he drops the Shine Spark there, heading through the door transition. Boom, reverse full happy. Beauty though. All right. 36 <laughs> shots on Mother Brain 3, and that's that's a wrap. Oh, Cutie first with the headbangers ball. Now Drewski. <laughs> Fire up that jukebox hockey. <laughs> oh, it's fired up. I got quarters for days. I got quarters for days, Crutch. I got them lined up. Oh Excellent. my goodness. Is he is hockey going to the arcade or is he putting money in the jukebox? Will he won't tell. I won't tell. I won't tell I, until the fat lady starts singing. And you know what? She ain't singing yet. Because Cutie's <laughs> on the escape here heading into, uh, well, the second room. I don't know if it has a room, but or a name, I should say. But <laughs> setting up that little shine spark there. Last, second to last shine spark, we'll see. But this room is treacherous, this so-called oh, Leonardo yes. room. Yep. But there's also our last chance for a quality moonfall in the run. That's right. And some last And there it is. Can... Look at that from Cutie. Gosh, what a great run. Really Ruski also on the up. escape now. I'm taking, a, I'm taking a look. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but nobody has finished the race yet. So these might be the front runners for this community race. I think, so. I think you're right. So are, any, are, are, are any of them going to make my day and save the animals? Uh, oh, maybe? <laughs> Not cutie. <laughs> Not cutie for sure. Yeah, no, cutie knows what's up. And uh, there we go. Cutie fin... <laughs> what is that guy in the suit? Hockey, what's going on? What? <laughs> Did you not see on Cutie's clock just like a guy in a suit just scrolled up across the numbers? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I missed it. I was looking at I was looking at Drewski's screen. Oh my god. God, there's just not enough eyes, hockey. There's too much going on at all times in this game. God, I love this game. I know I do too. Okay. <laughs> We've got two runners finished. A real cutie finishes with an official race time of 42 minutes and 23 seconds. Drewski Finishing in second in this 47 entrant community race of any percent Super Metroid with an official race time of 4255. My goodness. Two 42s in this race. Oh my god. Crunchy, we're not done yet. We've got two other runners right here on display in Super Metroid 30 Years of Speed. We've got Zost and Eddie both in G4, both heading to Torian. I don't know, man. I think something's wrong with Eddie's cartridge. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell anyone. <laughs> we won't have an official time, an official race time for him, because Eddie has very fairly and very sportsmanlike uh, forfeit. But uh, he, 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 he did try his hardest to catch up to those. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we, and I'm sure Zenny is also thankful this means that he <laughs> didn't have to recrop anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Incredible stuff. We've got a couple more finishers as uh, as Zost and Eddie are setting up for Baby Skip here. We've got Sloters finishing in third with a 43-39. Uh, Scotty finishing with a 44-12. And Charles with a 44-19. Really impressive stuff from those runners. Ooh. No, these are, these are tremendous times. Just pe people really just showing up and putting on a show for everybody. They really have. And look at this. More Stashio Skip shenanigans from Zos. He's through the door. What will Eddie choose to do? Are we going to see the standard? That was such a good baby skip from Zost. Oh, uh, my God. The sweatiest of the sweaty, you might say. But look at Eddie. Oh, my. <laughs> God. Just... How did they make it look so easy, Hockey? I haven't Practice. been able to. I haven't skipped a baby in my life, and I threw them into the water as hard as I could. <laughs> That's it. it... <laughs> We've officially lost cabin pressure, Crunchy. <laughs> It's over. I'm decompressing as we speak. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Popish Mo to the rescue to baptize them, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Sassy's right. Crunchy did break hockey. I'm, I'm, I'm in shambles right now. I can't continue. <laughs> it's oh, all right. I was... That's all right, Hockey. I owe you a trick next time I see oh, you. Oh, my God. You owe me nothing, but I'll take you up on it anyway. I was not expecting that. That was incredible. <laughs> we got simultaneous Mother Brain 2 fights here, though, from Zos and Eddie. Now, I, I remember mentioning in the pre-show, Crunchy, Eddie is unique in that he uses a hitbox-style controller of his own design and manufacture. Which is exceptionally cool. I think it is, too. I, I, I fully support it. Uh, you know, it's not capable of any of the illegal inputs that would disqualify other controller types like simultaneous D-pad. Um, no button presses and he Eddie, Eddie has really put in a lot of time into this game both in rando arcade and vanilla so it's, it's really impressive to see him develop so fast yeah no and that's that's one of the other things I love even though we have even though you have some, some like even in this race some names that are just absolute titans you have people who just show up put in the time and climb and just climb that ladder oh yeah this is a this is a game that if you're willing to put in the time it's not insurmountable. It's not like like it's not like some games where just people just have such a lead that it feels impossible to catch up. Nah, if you put in the time, this game rewards you. I completely agree. I remember Eddie first got a he's got a low 42, like a 42 OX, and he earned that 42 at a break the record style event. Uh, I believe it was it was a couple of runs. SM Charles was there, Emmett, Eddie. There were the, the, the runners that were really, really talented and hunting for that 41, or in this case for Eddie, I think it was 42, and just really impressive stuff. But since then, Charles has improved to a 41.59. I'm sorry, it was not a 42.00, it was a 41. I'm so sorry, Eddie. Eddie, I had it off by a minute, but Eddie with a 41.18 from that event, just phenomenal stuff. I flubbed it, Eddie, I'm sorry. But uh, it's it's okay. I dropped my papers minutes ago. I, I <laughs> just like just 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 threw them out. It's a mess. I I can't even. And Drewski, Drewski is a relative newcomer to the game, but just has put in so much time and dedication into it, and is the only person to get RTA bomb Terizo skip on an NTSC cartridge, which is just so impressive. I, I, I didn't think it was possible. Then you linked me that video, and I just kind of sat there staring at it. <laughs> I was just dumbfounded when I found that. I'm like, surely it's got to be on Pell. And it's like, no, it's on NTSC. Impossible. 
And I also just want to point out that uh, someone in chat pointed this out. Zost had to die to Fantoon, came back, and is still just is finishing off Mother Brain at the 49, at almost around the 49 <laughs> minute mark. Gonna get just, sub hour after dying. <laughs> just, just, just smashing my PB die after dying. Just what, an, what a legend. Oh, chat telling me to slow the hype train because it was from a save state. You know what? I don't care what it was from. It was real and I saw it. <laughs> okay, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? The, the hockey, I think I forgot to tell you. The brake lever on this train broke. It's... Oh, yeah. We snapped that sucker off as soon as we yeah. left the station, Crunchy. There's no brakes <laughs> on this hype train. Okay, no, I threw it out, I threw it out the window. Like, just, we, can't even, <laughs> we can't even fix it. It's, 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 it's long gone. Where we're going, we don't need brakes. <laughs> We're gonna or keep rails, the apparently. Rolling. Or rails, yeah, we're definitely going off the rails. <laughs> Full steam ahead, Sassy. So Zoe's not the escape here. Thank you so much, Chad, for tolerating my pontification. Oh, Eddie falling in the Leonox room. That's gonna that's gonna secure victory for Zoe's here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody's rolling in now. We've got we've got 18 of 47 entrants finished. This is so incredible. My God, we have 18. Eddie, no! <laughs> no. Eddie, go! <laughs> it's okay. Eddie just needs to take a little bit of time to to clean the mother the brain guts off his boots. <laughs> no kidding. Oh my gosh! And uh, Bastion Blue with a second 49. GGs to Bastion. And Zost has completed the run with an official race time of 50 minutes and 33 seconds. GG's to Zost, way to stick it out. And what is this from Eddie Crunchy? Ed Eddie, Eddie making my day, putting a smile on my face. No, no, the taunt! Crunchy, no! Oh. No! <laughs> the taunt. How could he? How could he betray you like that, Crunchy? Eddie. Eddie, I thought we were cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing dare like this, Eddie? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Eddie finishes with an unofficial time. <laughs> Of like 5130 something completely cheated and it has nothing to do with this controller. Oh Crunchy, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We got to the end. I, I I'm not sure how, but we by how we absolutely did. By the power of our will alone. And you know, we actually we we managed we managed to actually talk about tech and what was going on. I'm proud of us. I know. I, they cannot complain on Reddit about this one. They really can't. And if they do, I'm just gonna block them all. <laughs> I didn't. Br Wait. No. Oh, dang it. I was about to say I didn't bring up breakfast a single time, but I did. Dang. <laughs> I had to sneak hermetically sealed pancakes in there too, just to piss some people off. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, well, I think it's. I think hockey. I think honestly, it's kind of what it is. Is this a serious? This, this is. Well, this is obviously a big marathon thing. This isn't really, we're, we're not, this isn't like for money or anything. This is a community race. It's we do these on the regular. Race. We're we doing do. this for fun. And I had the most fun with Super Metroid today that, that I've had in quite a long time. Oh my gosh. Well, thanks that... to you. Thanks to our amazing runners. Thanks to the chat. Got just every time I think, you know what? Maybe I need to just step away. It's, I think my time, my time, maybe my time is done. No, I remember why I love why I love this so much, and I uh, I stick around. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Crunchy. It, it was absolutely spellbinding from start to finish to see these four runners uh, duke it out. We saw many lead changes, a lot of surprises along the way, formidable runners, and uh, there's still a lot of people that are still running. We got 26 that are done, but uh, a very very special shout out to Shiny Zenny for asking Crunchy and I to do this, and a, a huge huge thank you to this community where it has been my home on the internet and in speed running for the last like i said for the last eight years so crunchy take us out i'm spent i got nothing <laughs> left you got nothing left hockey i know you better than that you've always got something but you know what you let you brought us in it would be my pleasure and my and an honor to take us out everybody out there 
from the Hockey Towner and from myself, Crunchy Lex, and from everyone on the back end, I'm sure. Thank you so much for joining us for this community any percent Super Metroid race on the 30 years of speed celebration event. It has been our pleasure to be here with you through it all. And as we are always so fond of saying, and we mean it from the bottom of our hearts, we'll see you next mission. You guys hear me? I think we're good. <laughs> um, let me just say, if you weren't watching that race, uh, that's going to be the first the first thing that I throw on YouTube. I think I'm going to do it tonight because... Um... <laughs> what even was that? <laughs> uh... <laughs> There, <laughs> there was a point where um, Sassy mentioned in chat that I was losing my mind downstairs. She's she's not exaggerating. <laughs> like I was, I was literally screaming and like hysterically laughing, and I, I could not, I could not help myself. <laughs> that was that was an amazing race. Um, I know it's it's late. Uh, you know, we got delayed a few times because of this and that, whatever, uh, we had, we had stream issues. <sighs> we had ads on Eddie's channel. <laughs> you know, we, we just, we definitely had some hiccups in this event, but, um, I just wanted to, to thank you guys so much for showing up. Um, <laughs> today and yesterday, uh, last night, um, has just been absolutely incredible and, um, it has admittedly been a lot of work to get this together. And, uh, you know, I know it wasn't perfect. Uh, like I said, we definitely had some hiccups here and there. Um, but I feel like it came together really, really well for uh, the time that I had um, to put it together. Uh, and um, I just, I again, genuinely from, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for showing up, um, participating this game means the world to me. Uh, and you would think that after spending thousands of hours, 10,000 plus hours, um, playing it, watching it, uh, you know, everything, um, over, over the past seven years. And, and, you know, the time that I spent before that as well, before I was streaming, <laughs> you would think that, you know, eventually I'd get sick of it or start liking it less. Um, honestly, the, the reality is quite the opposite. Um, there's definitely times where I get burnt out, but, uh, I love it. Um, I, I, I really, I love it so much. And, um, I, I can't adequately express my feelings, um, how, how truly grateful I am for the game, but more, more so the community that surrounds the game. Um, and you know, I said it, I said it during my opener, uh, yesterday. Um, I, I have genuinely made some, some best friends, uh, playing this game, being part of the community talking with you guys, racing with you guys, running events with you guys, hosting events with you guys, um, and girls. It's, it's just, it's been incredible. And, um, 30 years, just wow. <laughs> 30 years. Um, if I keep talking much longer, I'm just going to start ranting about random stuff. And I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste anybody's time, but 
I, I do have childhood memories of playing this game. I have childhood memories of renting this game at the local grocery store. You know, they had a little offshoot um, rental place. <laughs> you go in, you, you pick the game you want to rent, you take it to the register, you get three days with it or whatever, and you, do, you bring it back. Um, just thinking about what what this game has grown into um is just really incredible to me so again uh thank you guys so much for your participation and if you didn't see that any percent race like i said i'm gonna get it up asap go watch it because it was just insane um so yeah um with that I guess I will say goodbye. Um, I want to specifically shout out everybody that um, submitted to do runs for this event. Thank you so much. Even if you didn't make it in, I, I really appreciated the fact that I, I had to choose what to put in because I only had so much time. That meant a lot to me. Um, thank you to everyone who uh, submitted to do commentary. You guys did amazing. Um, everybody on commentary did an amazing job. And uh, thank you to everyone who helped me get this organized. Uh, thank you to Lethargic Waldo for helping um, with the ins and outs of uh, the way that the OBS layouts and stuff were going to work. Um, I designed all the layouts myself, but anytime I had a question, I would message Waldo and he'd be like, oh yeah, just do this or do that or you know whatever. he he definitely was um, extremely helpful through through this whole process. So thank you to Waldo. Um, thank you to Zost for uh, inspiring me to, to start streaming in the first place and uh, for kind of taking me under your wing uh, back in back in the old days. I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, last but definitely not least, uh, thank you to my amazing wife, Sassy Zenny, for being so incredibly supportive um, all of these years. Uh, <laughs> funny story. Uh, sorry, Sassy. I, I hope this doesn't embarrass you. I don't think it will. Um, <laughs> yesterday or the day before or something. <laughs> sassy mentioned to me that she remembers back in like 2015 2016 i would just be sitting there watching zost streaming on my phone doing runs for hours and she would just like watch me watching him and just be like that looks so boring that looks so dumb what's the point of this <laughs> And like now she understands she's part of it, you know? So like, it's just, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> it's seriously, um, I, she is so supportive of me and, uh, the, the time that I spend doing this. Uh, sometimes I spend too much time doing it and she is supportive even in those moments. So thank you. Thank you, Sassy. Um, there are definitely people that I need to thank that I am forgetting. So uh, if you are one of those people, my apologies. I am extremely tired. I think we're running on another 15 hours streaming or so. Um, the The stream crashed. The OBS crashed like an hour and a half ago. So I had to restart stuff. But um, yeah, I'm just really tired. So I'm going to go. Uh, I have a thank you screen that I'm going to leave up for a bit. Maybe I'll throw up the uh, the clip screen again just for one one more go around for anybody who missed it. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank thank you guys, thank you guys so much. Um, truly, this this has been incredible and inspirational, and I can't I can't wait to see what we continue to do. Thank you guys. <laughs>